This week at COP, we rejoice with heaven's angels over souls being saved. Our youth were at WCC on Wednesday for a university outreach that saw 197 students say yes to Jesus. Thanks to our Echo Youth Choir, singers, NASA, Kool-Aids, dancers, and Kamanava leaders who helped out. Our mighty men in uniform thank God for open doors to the police stations and the Naval Testing Office, where a total of 104 uniform personnel gave Gave their lives to Christ Jesus. Praise God for our wired outreach to an SMDC warehouse in Columba, seeing 32 saved. From COP Isabella, this week 10 were saved through Trio Outreach and 4 of the 10 have already attended service. COP Bulacan saw 64 saved in community outreach back to back with online evangelism. And Romblon's Pastora Helen praises God for 112 people saved in community outreaches. This week at COP, all glory to God for the dedications as our brothers and sisters thank God for the harvest He is showering upon them. Sister Honey dedicated her eatery business in Batangas and 12 people accepted the Lord as Savior. Rina Vacarisas dedicated her new home to the Lord. Jam and Bea praised God for their house and lot in Bulacan, an advanced blessing for their upcoming wedding. Carlos and Judith dedicated their Nissan Patrol. Ramil and Remen thank God for their red Mirage G4. Attorney Lelaine and her project team held a groundbreaking and dedication for their construction project in Pasig. Praise God for four workers who were saved. Sister Merlin of Cainta dedicated her new business to the Lord, a meat and frozen goods store. The Malabanan family dedicated their Super Grandia Elite. Cebu's de Guzman family dedicated their smoked tinapa and chorizo business to the Lord. They also dedicated the equipment used in processing the products. The Bernales family praises God for the purchase of two additional six-wheeler closed vans paid in cash to be used for their transport business. Phil and Fidel dedicated their DJ salon business in Bulacan. Both Phil and Fidel are public school teachers looking at retirement in five years and they're praising God for a business as a source of income. They're praying for the adjacent unit as well. So in preparation, Outburst of Praise Choir held trio crusades in both locations and praised God for 11 saved. And the Gutierrez family dedicated their Toyota Velos. Coming up at COP, Worship Our Wonderful God or Wow God is at Main Campus this week, Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Wow God is best enjoyed with someone who needs Jesus. Coming up at COP, our debt-free seminar is this coming Saturday, September 21 at COP Main Campus Auditorium, featuring Pastor Samral, Pastora A, and resource speakers from our legal fellowship. Seminar starts at 10 a.m., but free legal counsel is available to you starting at 8.30 a.m. Coming up at COP, Pastor Marlin announces the third and final Man Up Gathering for the year. The theme is Persistent Men. Man Up Gathering will be Saturday, September 28, and will be held at our Angel One Radio Tower. The men will be leaving from several campuses. Departure time is 6 a.m. Please see Pastor Marlin or your campus pastors for carpooling arrangements. Coming up at COP, we are just weeks away from our October 5 Leaders Training with Pastor. This is our third and final Leaders Training for 2024, and we do want to be sure, leaders, that you have registered in order to avail of the free lunch that will be provided. See your district or campus pastor. It has been another great week at COP.